So my son's fiance loves cinnamon. So she asked me would I make something with cinnamon in. So I scoured the internet and I found a recipe for Estonia crinkle. So that's what I'm going to make today. So in my little bowl, I've got some yeast and some sugar. And I'm going to add some lukewarm milk and mix it together. Now the recipe adds for fresh yeast but it does say that you can use um, dried yeast which is what I've got if you can get hold of it. So I've whisked that up, I can smell it now making action and to that I'm going to add an egg yolk. Give that a good mix. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm adding two tablespoons of melted butter. And that goes in as well. Now in my bowl, I've got some plain flour and some salt. So I'm going to add this in. And unfortunately, this is a bit I don't like. I don't like getting my hands mucky. So I'll mix it with the spoon first <coughs> and then I'll get my hands in and make a door. So this is going to need kneading for about five minutes or so, so I'll bring back, I'll come back when I've kneaded the dough up. So my dough's had a good knead. And what I'm going to do now is put it in a, a clean bowl that has got oil in so it doesn't stick. So the give it a rub round and leave it. And I'm going to cover it with cling film and then I'm going to leave it to prove for about an hour. And then it should double in size. So <clears throat> when I get me, don't forget, my hands are all slippy. Cover it tightly. Now the sun's out today, so there you go. I'm going to put it in the sunshine and then it'll all rise up and double in size. So as you can see, my bread's doubled in size. <gasps> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to knock it back, as they call it, and then I'm going to roll it out. So I've rolled my pastry out, and I've added, um, smothered it with cinnamon, sugar and butter. So I've mixed the cinnamon, sugar and butter in the bowl to make a paste, and then I've spread it all over the top. Now the next bit is to roll it and we're going to make a braid, as it's called, Estonia Kringle. So we'll roll it up into a big sausage. It's quite, and I'm gonna flatten the end. Now with a sharp knife, and I cut down the middle like so. And then flatten it out. And then I'm going to, what they call like, plait it.
very fiddly. So there's my plait. Bring it round and join it together. So there's my braid. I'm gonna struggle getting it on my on my tray. So it's on my tray there now. <clears throat> I'm gonna cook that in the oven. <sighs> Never had this before, so this is an experiment. We'll have to see what it comes out like. So my Estonia Kringle has had uh, 20 minutes in the oven. It's had 10 minutes at um, 200 degrees and 10 minutes at a lower heat of 180. So I'm gonna take it out now and let's have a look what it looks like. Oh, wow, <laughs> look at that, <laughs> that looks delicious. <gasps> Ooh, Estonia Kringle, which is basically cinnamon bread. Oh, that looks delicious. So here's my Estonia Kringle <coughs> with my faithful cup of tea. And I'm going to, I'm going to try some. I put a bit of butter on it because I'm not sure what you meant to serve it with. Come on. Mm -hmm. That is delicious, that. Mm. And it's still warm. Estonia Crimble. <laughs> or Kringle. <laughs> mm. That is so good. <laughs> 